and good reasoning is almost always insufficient. Although gut feel can be a good starting point, there's always need for validation. And this is where numbers or data come in. In my experience, if you have solid data, um, it's always easier to make, to make your case when proposing solutions and changes to workflows. In my current job, I became the team's point person for any data pooling needs. I'm currently working on dashboards for our sales and customer experience team. And this time I'm applying the SQL and um, data visualization skills that I've learned during the bootcamp. Not only that, Esquelabs has extended my um, learning experience through the apprenticeship program where I am able to continue working with our partner company to help solve their data pain points. Um, a little background about me, I took up BS Development Communication in the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. And if this was a game, um, my stats would look like this. Communication, research, and production. Immediately after graduation, I worked as a research assistant where I helped in curating and producing instructional videos for the new GE courses at that time. Then after six months, I moved to the city and became a creative solution specialist, aka virtual assistant, where we did mostly admin work for our clients. After a year, I was given an opportunity to move to a more strategic role in the company where we did a lot of internal research for our leadership team and collaborated with different departments to improve our company's product and processes. And if you're in this line of work, you would know that it's almost impossible to propose solutions, innovate, and to ask people to change their current behavior and workflows without backing up your ideas with good reason. And good reasoning is almost always insufficient. Although gut feel can be a good starting point, there's always need for validation. And this is where numbers or data come in. In my experience, if you have solid data, um, it's always easier to make, to make your case when proposing solutions and changes to workflows. And if you look at my stats here, I knew that when I started in the project coordinator role, my skills in research, storytelling, and problem solving have improved, but the skills in analytics was not there yet. And whenever we're working on a project, my teammate would crunch the data for us and then I would assist in the presentation. Sometimes I would help in cleaning the data or do manual data entry, but back then I just couldn't start it on my own. My teammate would have to show me the ropes before I could help. And um, my manager recognized that I have potential in storytelling, spotting patterns, and drawing insights from the information at hand. But she also encouraged me to improve my quantitative skills. In line with that, I also wanted to be more independent and more reliable on our projects. And I realized that maybe if I learned how to work with data on my own, I would get better in communicating our proposed solutions. So that was my quest to develop my quantitative skills and to learn tools that would allow me to be more analytical. And at that time, I started with spreadsheets. I remember spending weekends taking crash courses on functions, formatting, and the like. And I believe that experience was fruitful and I was able to apply it in most of my projects at that time. But the interest did not stop there. I found that there are actually other ways to analyze and present data. So when I moved to my current job as an account manager, I tried helping out on data projects, building no coding solutions, and setting up dashboards and trackers to better support our team. My interest in data analytics grew and it eventually led me to discovering Esquilabs. Um, the bootcamp divided into four sprints. The first sprint focused on data cleaning and data visualization using Power BI. And not only did we learn how to use Power BI, but we also did a project that allowed us to be creative and critical in proposing solutions to the countries that we represented at that time. In the second sprint, uh, we learned the fundamentals of SQL and had a technical exam to gauge our learnings. Then in the next sprints, we were introduced to another dashboarding tool, which is Google Data Studio. But I would say the exciting part in the second half of the bootcamp is that we were able to work with actual stakeholders and actual business problems um, 
during the duration of the sprints. So yeah, imagine within that eight weeks, we already acquired the following skills and tools, which by the way are um, often listed as requirements for entry-level analyst roles. And it's true that there are other alternatives to learning these tools and skills. But if you're also like me, who's struggling with self-paced learning, or if you feel like you need that gentle nudge to stay committed to your goal of being a data analyst, then I highly recommend joining the next bootcamp. I mean, just look at how much I've learned in the eight weeks, right? So why do I recommend Escolabs? First is that they have subject matter experts who will teach you how to use relevant data analytics tools while sharing the industry's best practices. Honestly, I really appreciated it whenever our mentors and instructors would share their tips and best practices because it allowed me to understand them better and somehow imagine how I can use it in my own setup. Second, the class is very interactive. During the lecture, you can reach out to your instructor if anything's unclear. During the breakout sessions, you can ask your mentors or even teammates. Third, the exercises are very practical and assessments and feedback are provided in a timely manner. So with this, you get to see if you're on the right track and you get to evaluate the areas that you need to put extra work on. Fourth, resources such as the slides and recordings are immediately available so you can revisit the lessons at any time. And fifth, Escolab's assistance does not end at the eight-week program. They have one one-on-one -on -one coaching, career hubs, and even an apprenticeship program that you can take advantage of to better prepare yourself as you transition to a different career. When I joined this bootcamp, I wasn't actually aiming to switch careers immediately. All I knew was I wanted to be more analytical and to build my arsenal in data analytics. Um, but you know, sometimes life just opens doors for you and it's just a waste not to go through them. So even if I haven't yet moved to a different role or company, I know that this bootcamp has already helped me in working towards my ultimate goal of becoming a data analyst. In my current job, I became the team's point person for any data polling needs. I'm currently working on dashboards for our sales and customer experience team. And this time I'm applying the SQL and um, data visualization skills that I've learned during the bootcamp. Not only that, Esquelabs has extended my um, learning experience through the apprenticeship program where I'm able to continue working with our partner company to help solve their data pain points. So if you're like me, who's also not from a quantitative degree or someone with relatively less experience in analytics, I want you to know that you can still enjoy and make the best out of this bootcamp. You're in the right place and you will be led by the right people to jumpstart your analytics journey. As long as you have the passion and eagerness to learn, I'm pretty sure that your time here will be a good investment in your career. And um, as I end, I just want to share my favorite quote from the Queen of August, Dr. Taylor Allison Swift. Don't hide your enthusiasm for things. Never be ashamed of trying. Effortlessness is a myth. 